In this video, we're gonna be using a test soap by Heritage Hill Shave Company and the Economy Supply 800 razor sent to me by Marianne the Barbarian, MTB, and honed by Lather Me Whiskers. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And at the beginning of this video, I wanna give a, a big shout out to Franklin who is our latest uh, Patreon supporter. I really appreciate all the supporters. The Patreon supporters, the folks who use the affiliate links below, um, all the folks who help make this content possible. I can't thank you enough. It helps me uh, keep these products moving. As you know, I use a lot of products. I'm not a one trick pony. Like I keep the brands moving. Uh, uh, I keep soaps of all costs moving, razors, and I try to keep it fresh for you. And I try to keep it positive as much as we possibly can. And so Franklin, thank you very much. Franklin, by the way, um, lost his job due to the coronavirus. And we'll talk about that a little bit. We don't want to be a downer uh, for sure, but there's things we need to touch on. Anyway, today's soap, Heritage Hill. This is a tester that they sent me. So we're just going to use the soap and just enjoy the soap. We won't speak a lot about the scent, although I will tell you a little light to my nose. Um, and we'll share the feedback about the scent with Heritage Hill. But let me tell you something, Heritage Hill, if you have not tried it, excellent performer for the money, um, $9.99 uh, for three ounces, which this tub is, or, or $19.99 for six ounces, the same price, either way you go, small pour or larger pour, at an excellent on our uh, price chart, or a good price, I should say, good price, $3.33 an ounce. I love the fact that Heritage Hill offers the small pours and a larger pour at the same price. So they don't charge you more for a small pour, which is what has happened in this industry over the years. The quantity has gone down, the price per ounce has gone up, not at Heritage Hill. I love that. I have enjoyed all the soaps that I've used from Heritage Hill. The quality, very, very good. Let me show you the ingredients right there. We got shea butter, we got kokum, we got avocado oil. <laughs> it makes a beautiful lather, the price is right. And 5% of your purchase goes to the Hidden Battles organization, which will show you what they're about right there. So if you're interested in that, you can factor that in as well. Really good value from Heritage Hill. We're going to use the Economy Supply 800 razor, gifted to me by Marion the Barbarian, and honed by Lather Me Whiskers. We have our 24 hours of growth, which you see here. And this is just plain water, by the way. And sometimes people ask where I got this. I got this um, on Amazon. I'll put a link below. I just find that that's a very efficient way of uh, putting the lather to my face. And we have uh, whipped up our Heritage Hill soap here. And again, today is not about the scent. Um, it's just about using this soap and enjoying it. And look at that lather. You see that beautiful sheen on it. And how much water did I put in this? I put the same amount of water in this soap, nine pumps for my continuous mister that I did in Kaizen. <laughs> and as you can see, the lather here is quite good indeed. And that is what I have grown to expect from Heritage Hill. I enjoy using the Heritage Hill products very much. I am very enthusiastic about them because the price is right. And good people, my dealings with them have, have been very good thus far. The brush today is West Coast Shaving uh, Honeycomb. This was sent to me by Oy Vey, so shout out to you, Oy Vey. Okay, let's see how this particular edge is honed by Lather Me Whiskers. Um, the last one, I think he was, I think it was on a Nakayama or something stone. I can't re recall, so if I got that wrong, I appreciate This one is on a Nizuku, which is uh, one of my favorite stones and the one that I use a lot, although I have a few. And so let's see how we do today. And we hope we will maintain our technique and, and do well. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this edge is super sharp and super smooth. I can feel it already and I prefer this one over the other one. The other one was good, this one is better. That was very nice indeed. So <laughs> I'm quite impressed with that edge. And again, it, when I use these edges by folks who have been doing it longer, it gives me something to shoot for, you know. And the soap, fantastic. 
plenty of slickness there. You can hear the razor doing its work there. Very nice smooth edge while also being sharp, which is exactly what I want to shoot for in my own personal hunting. I want it to be very sharp and I want the whiskers to be coming off without it feeling tuggy. And I don't want it to feel super, super toothy. And uh, Lather Me Whiskers has done a good job here with it. So I know he's pretty busy, but uh, you know, um, if you're looking for someone to hone, he's another guy out there putting, putting some great edges on blades. And he also uh, tightened this one up, the pin which I really uh, appreciate it. So thank you, appreciate it. I should say thank you that lather me whiskers. So I haven't talked to my mother this morning. She did have a procedure yesterday. Um, she had one of her kidneys removed due to a spot that they think could be um, cancer. And the procedure did go well without complication. And I'm very, very thankful for that. I'm also thankful to my wonderful sister who's there in Charlotte. And only one person can visit. And they have to stay because when they leave, they can't come back. And this is a sort of another complication of the Rona and policies that are in place because of the Rona. So I want to thank my wonderful sister for looking after my mom and I'm looking forward to seeing my mom soon. And I'm looking forward to talking to her here in a little bit. Um, I did speak to her a little bit last night. She was still quite groggy, but um, thanks for all your thoughts and prayers. And I just want to remind you, um, this coronavirus thing is very real. It is affecting a lot of people. And even in my own case, um, in a normal situation, we'd be able to see our loved ones who were in the hospital and uh, stay with them. My mother has never really been in the hospital other than when she had her children. And so it would be nice if we were able to, to stay there and support her and so on, but that you, we cannot. And so it's another uh, policy that's been put in place because of this coronavirus. And as I mentioned before, Franklin, the guy who I talked about, latest Patreon su subscriber, or supporter, I should say. He lost his job due to Corona in March. My brother-in-law, not too long ago, lost his job. Um, we know Manny lost his father. Um, and I have had uh, my father-in-law lost a cousin. Uh, this is real, folks. So please, I implore you, take it seriously. Wear your mask. Um, avoid mass gatherings. Please, do it for the sake of everybody else. Because... I have personally been affected and it puts a lot of strain on people who are in the hospital. It puts strain on healthcare officials. Um, like I said, we can't even really visit, you know, people who are very dear to us and, and that makes it hard. It really does. And so please do your part, take it seriously and stop this buffoonery of shrugging it off. Like it's nothing, because it's affecting people. It's affecting me. You know, so please do your part. Please do it for people like Franklin that lost his job. He would like to get back to work, I'm quite certain. And so please, um, follow the protocols that have been laid out so we can get back to normal. And so, so we can support our families, both via employment and, you know, when they're having procedures in the hospital, we can go to see them. And so I didn't really want to get off on that rant but I feel like I had to because I just see people being so flippant about this and it's really insulting, quite frankly. But now we move on to <laughs> positive things and I'm telling you right now, try yourself some Heritage Hill. Good quality soap, very good indeed. My favorite one, I can't think of the name. It is t a Tangerine. And then they also have one that I bought recently that was uh, like lime and bergamot which was excellent as well. Again, as I mentioned before, the uh, this edge is fantastic. Excellent job, Mr. Lather Me Whiskers. Excellent job indeed. I need to talk to him a little bit about his hunting process and how he uh, approaches things. 
because I notice a lot of people do things differently and um, I like to learn from everyone. I've learned a lot from many, many different people and you'd be surprised how different people are <laughs> in their approaches to honing. You know, some people do certain things, other people do things entirely different. And so I think it's best to learn from as many people as you can and then uh, put that to use and figure out what works best for you. And that's what we're trying to do. Very nice edge. Again, I will link Lab Me Whiskers uh, channel uh, below, as well as Marion, so thank you, uh, Marion. Uh, one of the other things I wanna mention is I do have a giveaway ongoing for Razor Ruby Undead. So I will link the video below and you can watch it and see how to enter that giveaway if you're interested in uh, potentially winning that soap. We thank all the people who have entered already. And at some point in the next week or so, I will, uh, I will draw and just sneak it in one of these videos. There'll be no big billboard announcement. Cause again, we want to, uh, we want to reward the folks who are watching these videos. Um, I don't know if it, did I talk about the ingredients earlier? <laughs> if I didn't, I'll put them here because I don't know if I put them on the screen. This is a good quality soap and it's priced very well. And uh, I really enjoy it. The scent on this one for me is a little bit low um, if you're scoring that at home. Um, but again, this is a test. So, but quality wise, very, very nice soap. Very, very nice soap priced right. And uh, I love it um, for those reasons because uh, you know, not everybody has five, six dollars an ounce <laughs> you know, to, to spend on soap. And, and you can get a couple of these soaps, um, get you a couple of uh, three ounces from Heritage Hill for the price of one soap and some of the other, you know, brands. Like some of the brands that charge, you know, upwards of uh, over $20 for a tub of four ounces. Um, and again, you, you may really uh, enjoy those soaps and think that <laughs> I got a lot going all over the place. Well worth the cost. And for some it is. Like if I have a phenomenal scent, I don't mind paying a little more. And you know that. I've said that many times. But in terms of quality, the quality of this soap right here, which you can see, is holding lather very well. $3.33 an ounce. I can go and get my sterling. $2 and some odd cents an ounce, probably 230 something maybe, and make a lather like this. And so you don't have to spend a lot of money. Now I like to use um, soaps of all costs and varieties on the channel because I think it brings value to the viewer. So we have viewers that are budget minded. We have view viewers that don't really care too much about budget. Um, and so I like to use a little bit of everything, to, you know, but if it was just strictly for enjoyment, I could use Sterling or this or, or, uh, anything like this in the budget realm of price every single day And my shaves would be just spectacular, <laughs> you know? So when, where the rubber meets the road, um, if I were just using things in order to achieve a great shave every single day. I really don't need anything more than this soap provides and I would be very happy to uh, to use this on a daily basis or Sterling or, you know, any number of other brands. Uh, Ariana and Evans, a little bit more expensive, but still excellent, um, you know, soap commander. I mean, we can go on and on and on. But uh, I do like to try these different brands to bring value for the viewers. And also I find it's enjoyable. I know Pete, a uh, long time viewer, Pete had commented yesterday, he's seen me do many different things over the years, many different ways. And you know, there's been a period of time where I just did the shaving as like a vlog, where I just sort of shaved with macaroon and just talked. And, and now I'm in the phase of, uh, Hopefully not a phase, because I've really been enjoying doing the videos this way, 
where I want to use a variety of products and bring more value to the viewer. Because if I just used the same soaps every single day and I come on here and I'm giving you the same information I've already given you, unless I'm giving you instruction on technique, there's not much value in that. And so that's why I'm doing the extra work to look up the scent notes. And today, of course, I'm not sharing it because that's a, uh, this is a test soap, but it's why I go to the trouble of, of getting the ingredients for you, making notes, um, trying to share information about the soaps. Because for me, you know, this is, I want to bring some value to you. And this is not just a video log where I happen to be shaving. I have done that in the past and I've enjoyed doing it. There's nothing wrong with doing it, but... I hope you appreciate that I'm trying to bring you some additional information. So this is why you're gonna see a variety of products. And I try to give you the information so you can make an informed purchasing decision. I'm not just someone who's a cheerleader for you know a brand or two of soaps. You're gonna to try to, I'm gonna to try to bring you, a, I'm gonna hit that neck. I feel a little bit on, on the bottom, I'm just gonna. Hit that real quick again. I'm gonna try to bring you a variety of products and, and bring value via information. And um, part of that value is the links below. Again, it takes a little bit of time to gather all that stuff up. Um, so I hope that it is helpful to you. Very nice. Excellent edge by Lather Me Whiskers. Again, and the folks I mentioned, I'm putting their links below too. So please take advantage of that information. I implore you to, because I do spend time doing it. And uh, I appreciate the folks who who appreciate it. Um, your views, your support, it means a lot. And uh, boy, I'm really looking forward to um, talking to my mom today. Really looking forward to that. I know I just shoehorned that in, but the thought just occurred to me. I'm, I want to get this shaved done so I can... Uh, Give her a call and get an update on her um, status. I know it's a weird place for me to mention it in the middle of talking about value for you, but man, that was fun, really enjoyable, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. And thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it now more than ever. Um, it means the world. It truly does. Okay. Let me rinse. We'll come back and wrap this baby up. Stay tuned. All right. We're back with the Magic Made by Witches. And of course, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, which we use every day. That was an incredibly <laughs> enjoyable shave. The Edge put on the Economy Supply Razor by Lather Me Whiskers. Tremendous. Excellent Edge. Again, I'll link his inf information below. Tongue twisted. Heritage Hill Tester. Quality. Top notch. Scent. Um... For you heritage fo folks watching, not really my cup of tea, and it's a little light for me, so please take that and uh, use it however you like. Hopefully it's it's helpful. Um, West Coast Shaving Synthetic from our boy Oyve. Thank you, Oyve. I appreciate it. And today we're just going to close it out with Fine Aqua Marine, which is sold by West Coast Shaving, just because, I don't know, I haven't used it for a while, and I figured I would today. And uh, let's give this a go and wrap up this wonderful shave today. I want to thank all of you. Oh man, I love the scent of this. Thanks to all of you for your support. It really means a lot. Um, I can't tell you how much your time means. Um, my time is valuable. Your time is valuable too, and I thank you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.